Okay, I don't think that they're answering. They may have gotten taken down already. Okay, can you tell me, ma'am, what exactly problem you're getting with your machine? Um, well, it's doing Windows updates at the moment. It, it's got a lot of updates to put on, but the thing is, I, I'm not sure if it's frozen or not. Okay, and can you tell me what exactly you see on the screen? Can you read the whole message? Uh, yeah, at the moment it says, please do not power off or unplug your machine. Installing update 113 of 128. But the thing is, it's been at 113 for the past, I don't know, two hours or so. Okay. So I don't know if it's crashed and or not. Which win yeah, and can you tell me that which windows do you have on your device, ma'am? Is it Windows 7, 8 or 10? Okay. Right. Right. Now what you need to do... I want you to press press it and hold it down that particular key. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And while ho yeah, while holding it down, you need to hit the letter R as in Romeo. Both the keys together and release together. Okay. Now once you do that, it yeah. will give you a small run box where it says type the name of the program file or internet resource and window will open it for you. You see that? No, it, it it still says please do not power off or unplug your machine. Installing update 113 of 128. Okay. So, no problem ma'am. I want you to just try one more time. First press the window key and then the letter R as in Romeo. And then okay. release both the keys together. Okay. It's... Still, it's spinning something on the screen, ma'am. Yeah, Can yeah, you see a, anything is spinning thing on? It's spinning around. I, I thought that um, because it's been installing this update for a couple of hours, it it may have frozen the machine or something. Okay. Okay. And is it a desktop or a laptop, ma'am? Uh, desktop. It's a desktop. Okay. 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 And it's a Windows Seven. Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, I want you to just shut the shut it down. But it says, please do not power off or unplug your machine. Don't worry about that, ma'am. We will go ahead and take care of everything. We will recover everything. It is if it is stuck, if it is update is going on, then it will restart automatically. You don't have to worry about that, ma'am. So just try to shut it down completely. Right, right. Okay, All right. Okay, now I want you to open Google Chrome, ma'am. Let's open the Google Chrome. I don't have a Google Chrome. I have a Firefox. Okay, you and uh, now I want you to just try one more time by pressing the window key from your keyboard on the bottom left hand side, which has four squares on it or yeah. four flag on it. You need to press oh, it by uh, one finger and by, by other finger hit the letter R as in Romeo. Yeah. And uh, then I, release uh, both the keys. That's right, ma'am. Yes. Right. Right. Now I want you to please type in your first and last name. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's Click on run. Now. Okay. Yeah. John John Thomas. Okay. Now, ma'am, I want you to please leave the mouse, sit back and relax, and just take a look at the screen. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Now, let me first check this machine information, what exactly this machine says, ma'am. Okay, you are using Windows 7 Ultimate. And this machine, you're using AMD FX 8350 processor, 8 core, with almost a 4 GB of internal memory. Wow, you're having a very good machine, ma'am. Oh, and if I talk nice. about the security on this device, ma'am, the security you use, that means apart from you right now, there are five unauthorized people who are currently connected. 
and they are watching each and everything whatever you are doing on your machine ma'am and even they are misusing your information yeah now this is your particular IP address which is given to you by the US government ma'am those services have been stopped by those people who are currently active at your machine ma'am without your permission now here you can see I'm just opening the brain of the computer where we can go ahead and find the number of damages in a form of errors and warnings and it not should be more than 50 in any computers now let's see how much do you have on this device then I'll make 39. you aware what it says 39 yeah. up there so that's less that's than 50 good. so yeah. that's good yeah that's in a secure mode that means still it's in a right now here first let me go ahead and uh, diagnose the problem now here I'm just running a very short scan which is an advanced identity protector and this is the from Microsoft Corporation okay I'll just show you <coughs> Okay, it's blocking. You have a malware, anti malware. Yeah, that is this. your malware, anti malware bytes, which is uh, blocking, ma'am. This is the particular software which comes, which usually get downloaded from the internet, ma'am. A uh, third yeah. party antivirus, you can say that. Yeah. Okay. Now, just allow me a minute. Let me check. Yeah. Just allow me a minute. So that any point of time, if you face any problem, you have my name and my number. You can feel free to give us a call, and we will go ahead and help you. That's my name on your screen, ma'am. That's my employee ID, my extension number, my toll-free number to reach me direct. That's our email address, and that's where we are located. That things need to be performed on this particular device and your IP address, ma'am. And then trust me, this machine is absolutely fine. There is no problem with the computer. The problem which you're having is that you do not have a proper protection on your IP address. That is the reason that these people are easily getting into your machine and just misusing your information. Ma I totally understand, ma'am. See, if you calculate this amount for an year of a security, ma'am, it will hardly costing you not more than hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The only reason I phoned up is because the uh, Windows updates had crashed. Ma'am, update will not be coming up now. Now it will completely black. You can see only the completely black window on your screen and it won't turn back on. It keep on asking you to put the password or username because it is blocked by those people now. Once I disconnect the session from my end, ma'am, that is why right now they all are blocked. They are not able to go ahead and do anything on it. Firewall. That is what exactly the anti-hacking shield is. Now it's in front of you, ma'am. Sonic wall secure. That is a kind of particular firewall which is installed at your machine on your IP address, ma'am. Okay. You can see here on your screen, ma'am. That is what yeah. exactly the security we will be providing you from the Sonic Wall because it's a NSA security, National Security Agency affiliated, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am, for all that information. Now, just allow me a minute. Yeah, so, ma'am, in order to go ahead and register you for a one year of service, ma'am, support, which card are you going to use? It should be Master or Visa. Fine, I appreciate your patience. Sorry for the long haul. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Hi, this is David here, ma'am. David, hello, David. Okay, so I'm going to register the firewall right now. That is your agree with my engineer for $178, right?
for one year security for technical support we are located in New York right now you can see that oh uh, yeah and I'm speaking with John Thomas yeah that's right yeah. you can see that the payment got declined so do not worry about that why your payment got declined I will let you right now so bank the bank will start a new policy like if you like making an online transaction so bank will need uh, authorization Hello? 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 Yeah? Yeah? You Hello. found out, haven't you? You just done yeah. installed virtual box. Yeah? Well done. Well Sorry? Done. Oh, come on. I know that Sorry? it's a scam, and you've obviously found out that I'm a scam beta. And that's why you uninstalled virtual box. Oh, Very seriously? clever. <laughs> Well, first of I all, this is not a scam. A a but you were then. trying to do scam with me, and I'm, you know, better than you. You don't know better than me. There. So how can you say that you know more than me? That, I no, know more you, than you, Matt. You were actually an entertainment for me all this while. You know, for this thought, hour and a half, you were an entertainment for me yeah. all this while. I tell you what, for a while, me and I my thought colleague, that you were you so stoned. You because just seem to be so relaxed and so stoned. It was no, quite not interesting talking to you. Certainly not. <laughs> it was good to you know, waste your time for like an hour and a half. No, you've been played along. It, it, it was entertaining, no, I admit that. No, you were an entertainment for an hour and a half. Because, as I said, we have done already the job for the day. My technicians were free, so they were enjoying with you. Can you fucking speak English? I can speak English a lot better than you can. You know how to? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Well, you can try that. Well, What's you can try that. speaking English? I've been speaking <laughs> English for over 35 years. I've been speaking Chinese. Ah, ni hao. Fucking 90 years. <laughs> and also, I recognize you're Chinese a, a lot more. I've spent a lot person. of time in Hong Kong. You're such... You are such, such a dumb person. How did you? Then how do you get your bread and butter? I don't like Sorry? bread and butter. And <laughs> what do you eat? I eat good food. Caviar. Sorry. Lobster. You eat lobster. And how do you nuggets. pay for the lobster? How do you pay for the nuggets? Well, that's my favorite. Oh, you like Chicken McNuggets as well, that's good. <laughs>